Hi, it's Grammy from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and today I have a book for you called The Grandma Mix-Up. The stories in the pictures are done by Emily Arnold McCauley, and it's a little bit of a chapter book. The Mix-Up. Pip's mom and dad were taking a trip. We will be gone two days and two nights, said Pip's mom. Grandma and Nan will, will take care of you. Mom and Dad and Pip went downstairs to wait for Grandma Nan. Here she comes, cried Pip. Hi, Grandma Nan. Hello, hello, said Grandma Nan. How is my good um, grandchild? Just then, a taxi raced up. Out popped Grandma Sal. Here I am, she called. Did you ask Grandma Sal to babysit? Mom asked Dad. Did you ask Grandma Nan to babysit? Dad asked Mom. Now, what will we do? No matter, said Grandma Sal. We can both babysit. Are you sure? Asked Dad. Run along, said Grandma Sal. We will have a fine time. Goodbye, Pip, said Mom, or said Dad. We will miss you, said Mom. They hugged Pip goodbye and rode away in the taxi. Two, a bad start. Well, said Grandma Nan, let's get busy. Let's relax, said Grandma Sal. Open your treat bag, Pip. Gummy bears, said Pip. Thank you. Come upstairs, said Grandma Nan. First thing in the morning, I inspect your room. Pip followed her upstairs. Oh, Pip, said Grandma Nan sadly. Our room is a mess. We must clean it up. Pip put away his socks and his trucks and his crayons and pulled out up the bed covers. Grandma Nan was very strict. Pip, Pip, called Grandma Sal. Come from the backyard. Come down and show me your bike. Pip ran outside. Look at you, said Grandma Sal. You are a super duper rider. Hi ho, called Grandma Nan. It's noon on the dot. Time to eat lunch. Pip and Grandma Sal went inside. We have tuna with sprouts, said Grandma Nan, or an apple, some nuts, a marshmallow, cereal, pretzels, or corned beef hash, said Grandma Sal. It was too hard to choose. I'm not hungry, Pip said. Oh dear, I don't like the sound of that, said Grandma Nan. Maybe a nap is in order. Bet your life, said Grandma Sal. She plopped down on the couch. See you later, Pip. Three, worse and worse. Rise and shine, called Grandma Nan. Nap time is over. I want to see busy now. What do we want to do, asked Pip. Oh, paint us a picture, said Grandma Nan, or act out a story or do a puzzle. Grandma Sal was in the living room. The big game is on TV, she said. Want to watch? Want to chip? I think I will go back upstairs, said Pip. Pip sat down to write a secret letter. Dear Mom and Dad, Grandma Nan is too hard. Grandma Sal is too easy. I want you to come home and do things our way. Love, Pip. Pip put the letter into the desk drawer and went out front to sit on the steps. Dinner time, called Grandma Nan. Please set the table. Grandma Nan was stirring a big pot of stew. She said, if, if it stinks, says Grandma Sal, we can send out for pizza. Pip ate one bite of stew to be polite. Pip said, Grandma Nan, we must eat to be strong. Now, Nan, said Grandma Sal, the child will not starve. May I go outside, asked Pip. If you keep clean, said Grandma Nan, Pip can always take a bath, said Grandma Sal. Both grandmas were grumpy. Doing things Pip's way, number four. Pip went outside to swing high on the swing. Grandma Nan wanted to do things one way. Grandma Sal wanted to do things another way. Pip wanted to do things the way Mom and Dad and Pip always did them. The grandmas were talking by the window. A child needs rules, Sal, said Grandma Nan. A child needs fun, Nan, said Grandma Sal. My rule is bed at eight o'clock, said Grandma Nan. Oh, loosen up, said Grandma Sal. A body gets sleep, the sleep it needs. 
stop, cried Pip. I do not want to do everything two ways. I want to do them our way, like every day when mom and dad are home. How is that, dear? asked Grandma Nan. I clean up my room once a week. I make my own lunch every day. I don't take a nap unless I want to, and I never have candy in the morning, except at Christmas. No TV on nice days, and I can get dirty when I play. I don't eat vegetables all mixed up with meat. What do you think, Sal? asked Grandma Nan. The child has a point, said Grandma Sal. Pip, we will try to do things your way, said Grandma Nan. How do we begin? It's almost my bedtime, said Grandma, or said Pip, but first I put on my pajamas and then I brush my teeth, I pet Kitty, wash my face, then I look out four stars and eat a cookie and run my trucks and then I bounce on my bed if I feel like it. Then you can read me a story. Oh, goody, a story, said Grandma Nan. She reached for the bookshelf. Oh, goody, said Grandma Sal. She reached into her bag. Oh, no, said Pip. I choose the book. It's upstairs, and you can take turns reading it. Pip got ready for bed. The grandmas waited. After a while, Grandma Nan called up. It's getting late, Pip. Relax, Nan, said Grandma Sal. The grandmas laughed. Finally, Pip crawled under the covers. Then Grandma Nan read the first page. Grandma Sal read the next page of Pip's bedtime story. They took turns to the very end. After that, the grandmas did almost everything Pip's way. Until Pip's mom and dad came home. That can be kind of tough sometimes. Grandmas um, come in all different kinds and sizes. Some are strict, some are easy. I, I hope that you will remember that the grandmas just love you. And I hope you like this book and please subscribe to our channel.